The great saphenous vein lies in the superficial fascia and is easily seen. Actually, the word saphenous comes from Greek and means easily seen. The great saphenous vein is formed on the dorsum of foot by the union of the medial end of the dorsal venous arch of the foot and medial marginal vein of the foot. The vein runs upward about 2.5 cm in front of the medial malleolus, crosses obliquely the medial surface of the lower third of tibia, and then ascends a little behind the medial border of tibia to reach the knee, where it lies on the posterior medial aspect of the knee joint. From here it runs upward along the medial side of the thigh to reach the great saphenous opening, also called fossa ovalis. It passes through the saphenous opening and drains into the femoral vein. The tributaries of the great saphenous vein are, at the commencement, of course, medial marginal vein of the foot. In the leg, posterior arch vein. This vein is fairly large and constant. It collects blood from the posterior medial aspect of the calf. Just below the knee, we have anterior veins of the leg. They extend diagonally across the tibia and join the great saphenous vein. In the thigh, accessory saphenous vein. This vein commences in the lower part of the front of thigh and joins the great saphenous vein in the upper part of the thigh. Just before piercing the cribriform fascia, the great saphenous vein receives superficial circumflex iliac vein, superficial epigastric vein, and superficial external pudendal vein. Now let's talk about the small saphenous vein. The small saphenous vein is formed below and behind the lateral malleolus by the union of the lateral end of the dorsal venous arch and the lateral marginal vein of foot. It runs upward behind the lateral malleolus. Thereafter, it runs in the middle of the back of the leg, pierces the deep fascia and undergoes a subfascial course between the two heads of the gastrocnemius until it reaches the middle of the popliteal fossa. Here it turns inward to terminate into the popliteal vein. Tributaries of the small saphenous vein are, at the commencement, the lateral marginal vein of foot. In the leg, we have numerous small veins on the back of the leg draining into the small saphenous vein. Between the great and small saphenous veins, we have two important communications. One communication runs transversally at the level of popliteal fossa. The other important communication is in the thigh and is called the Giacomini vein. The Giacomini vein begins from the upper part of the small saphenous vein, runs upward and medially towards the medial aspect of the thigh, until it reaches the upper part of the great saphenous vein, where it terminates. According to Terminologia Anatomica, the Giacomini vein is called extensio cranialis veni saphenni parvi, which in English means the cranial extension of the small saphenous vein.